And it's not just us, the humans, that need to brace for the cold temperatures. We wanted to see how the Baton Rouge Zoo is getting ready to keep their critters warm. Yeah, they need to keep warm too. NBC Local 33's Ariel Salk went to the zoo to check it out. Well, when everybody else gets to go, go home for, for the holidays, zoo staff's in every day. While people prepare their homes for the cold, director of the Baton Rouge Zoo, Jim Fleshman, and his team are doing the same, but for the animals, everything from the four-legged mammals to the ones that fly. Some of the exhibits, we actually wrap them in tarps in order to protect them from a north wind or from a northeast or northwest wind, depending on where we think the storm's coming from. Fleshman says most of their work consists of making sure the heat is on and running. A lot of those preparations are making sure we have heat lamps, making sure that the outdoor heaters are working, make sure indoor heaters are working. While Fleshman drives around the zoo. And he just kind of keeps the, the cold away from them. He says the birds, fish, and tropical creatures are the animals to keep an eye on. But the others come from diverse climates, meaning they are naturally prepared for the cold. You know, it, it does snow on Kilimanjaro. It, there is ice in the Serengeti at different times of the year, and it happens depending on your elevation. So we pretty much try to make sure we can handle those and we don't have super, super sensitive species. But even with all the safety measures in place, Fleshman says his staff will work around the clock, keeping a watchful eye on their nearly 500 animals during the freeze. Uh, they actually come in and check their animals, double check are their heaters, make sure all the animals are toasty and warm. Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News.